Let's go welcome to the next episode of Let's Play Northern Lions RimWorld. We last left off, we've made a significant amount of progress. Super excited to jump in again. As always, uh, prior to recording every episode, I do watch Ryan's episode. I'm not sure if I've ever told you guys that, but I, I guess you assume that. And also, I read through our comments to see what we need to tighten up on. And sometimes you've just got to step back from the ledge, my friend. Living in the nose and lives that Austin's been dreaming in. And, uh, people said, I better move this wire. Otherwise, we're gonna have shorted out. Alright, so first thing we're gonna do is, <laughs> is, uh, that's a good song. I'm glad Ryan sang that. Living all the lies that you've been giving in. And, uh, better step back from the batteries. Alright, anyways, uh, so that, from that obscure entry, uh, one of the things you guys said, hey, Dan, this, uh, conduit is not gonna get it done. It's gonna cause, um... Some serious issues in the future. The other thing you guys said, hey Dan, uh, you don't need to uh, store uh, battery juice uh, because you got a con consistent uh, thermal generator. So gone are the the, the days of uh, having to wait for the sun. We've got a consistent power source, which is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep our batteries for now. However, I am going to run a new conduit uh, to because uh, it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. You guys said it needs to be under sandbags or it needs to be under a wall. Or both. So if we just were to run it like this and keep things high and tight, like our fade, then we should be fine, right? That's all we need. So because of that, also, that, that's a beautiful thing. Now we can see what we don't need anymore. So we want to deconstruct, hopefully. The question is, how do we deconstruct? That wouldn't be deconstructing, right? That's not deconstructing our plants, one might say. So we just want to cut the power on these guys. I'm hoping that's the case, but we'll find out here. All right, so as we press on, now that we've, we've got that, let's let's get ourselves in in, uh, in good, fashionable order. Uh, we're last left off. We just survived a raid. Ooh, listen to that. Summer breeze makes... This is a little FTL mixed with the... Uh, um, Charles Waysmith. All right, so Mathis is resting up, so we got our G-Hills going. Let's go ahead and speed this up here. Leslie is, is resting. You get a dire wolf. No, you get a dire wolf. So let's let's speed this up. You guys also said, hey, Dan, if you want to harvest, all you have to do is go to orders, harvest, and light it up. Like the 4th of July. All right. So we're in pretty good shape. Solar flare. Summer is upon us. Mathis is fully G-Hilled up. I think he needs to go heal. Um... Who is our resident evil doctor? Mathis is. So he needs to get a passion for healing. So let's go ahead and have him treat right away. Next one up needs to get a, needs to clean up this floor. All right, Ryan. All right, good. So that's moving forward there. It's a beautiful thing. Ooh, we got it. There's a lot of junk here. We got a, we got a lot of stuff we got to clean up, but that's okay. All right, so Mathis is... Hopefully his desire to... Uh, excuse me. Don't, uh, don't tweet me during episodes. Uh, Ma uh, Austin is fully healed. That's a beautiful thing. Austin is going to be sowing some plants. That's a beautiful thing. Mathis is working on that. The other thing I said, hey, Dan, let's, we're going to dip into something uh, our good buddy Ryan has not dipped into yet. You guys said, hey, there's a you can set up some joy for people. And you can also set the working hours for Dan later in the evening. So if we're a night owl, why don't we work from, what's a good amount of time? I don't know what unrestricted means sleep we can sleep in the middle of the day so we're going to be on a little bit of a different schedule so we need about eight hours of sleep right one two three four five six that's about right so we can go uh we'll give him a little joy here before he goes to bed and then anything for the rest of the time so the other thing people said is to set some joy so let's give uh ryan a little joy before the end of the evening we'll give mathis just a little bit of joy this should help our overall uh, mood, which is a beautiful thing. Excuse me, Austin. He's playing billiards. Look, I'm not gonna mess with you. What we are gonna, who we are gonna mess with here? Let's just slow this down for a second. Ryan is feeding packaged survival meat to the nose. Hey, you know what I was about to do, Ryan? I was about to send you in to go work on the nose, but uh, looks like I don't need to do that. Mathis is healing. Austin is playing. Ryan is cohabituating. Um, I would like to get this running though. This conduit is fairly important. Come on, Ryan. Give him the charm, man. Give him the Vancouver charm. Give him the charm straight out of Barrio, Ontario, where you learned to bake your first bread. All right, so that didn't work out. That's all right, buddy. 
Ryan, get deconstructing. Ooh. He's doing a hell of a job there. Look at that. Savagery. He's a good man. Holy cow, I've never seen Ryan work that hard in his life. That's not true. He's produced over uh, 1,700 episodes of The Binding of Isaac. That's a lot of hard work. Regardless of how you slice it, that is a thing you got to respect Ryan for. You don't have to, but I definitely do. Um, and he's relaxing socially after that. Well, uh, excuse me, it's, it's time for you to work, Ryan. Uh, so we need to also have him... Prioritize cleaning dirt? No, that's okay. We do need to clean up our act here, though. Uh, Dan's going for a walk? I don't think so. Dan, you're going to go ahead and work on the power conduit because then we'll be self-sufficient off the heat of the land, if you know what I'm saying. But one thing we need to know is that Mathis never lets me down. All right, Mathis is... Is it cold in here? Frozen won't spoil it. Good, that's a beautiful thing. All right, uh, so we are... We need to also prioritize some hauling on... Oops, we'll go orders. I guess we got to click these on the ones and twos. Must designate haulable items. Excuse me? Haul the steel. All right. So Dan is hopefully finishing this up. Matt, this is also chipping in a hand. I can't tell if this is roofed. I don't think it is roofed. Why that is, is because we still have some doors to button up. I'll tell you what. Our guys are learning the way of, of the land. We also should probably move this dumping zone probably in the corner we're gonna make a large dumping zone so that uh we get it away from our main area so we want to go delete that dumping zone and also that's stockpile i feel like we need to do a little reorganization here but uh for now let's get everything buttoned up it's going pretty well one of the things that you guys did want to see is say we want to see uh choose storyteller we are on rough. Look at that. Look, man, we just know what we're doing, okay? Not that, not to imply that anyone else doesn't know what they're doing. But, uh, Ryan, hauling steel, good. So he's getting ready for that. Uh, the other thing that someone had mentioned, hey, Dan, you want to set your butcher's table to infinite, to do forever. Win forever, like Pete Carroll, he wrote a book called Win Forever. I didn't read it, nor will I ever read it, but uh, it seems appropriate to mention it at that uh, function. Oh, so it looks like there's now a roof over this. We should put some sort of flooring that is not wood that would cause no issues. How about... Ooh, concrete. If you fall, if you pass on a con beat, that's your asphalt. If you fall on the concrete, that's your asphalt. Ryan is laying some concrete. Who knew he was such a mason? All right, Dan, uh, what are you doing here? Hauling cloth. How about you uh, don't do that? And what if we were to work on the conduit? Is the conduit done? Don't ever pass on a con beat. I, I'm guessing the conduit's done. It is done. We just need to disassemble. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. Excuse me. Um, see, I, that conduit may be there forever, which is going to maybe cause me a little, uh, little distress somewhere along the line. But in the meantime... Cargo pods have landed. Let's go take a look. Ooh, herbal Me Medici family. Let's go ahead and designate the hall this, please. So we'll go orders hall. Oh, we have to have someone come get it. Mathis is hauling steel. Ooh, we're building the turret. Forgot about the turret, boys. All right, who, who can go get that? Um, Austin hauling Molotov cocktails. How about you go get this herbal medicine? That's a beautiful thing. Uh, what is Mathis doing? Building concrete. Where is our turret at, by the way? It's it's somewhere out here. All right, so things seem to be moving along here very nicely. Mathis is fixing that up. I would prefer him to uh, work on the turret if we could find where the heck it is. I know we put it out here somewhere. The question is, where is the turret? I don't know. Um, so we've got our joy set up. We've... We've addressed the butcher situation. Did we address the butcher situation? Yeah, we did. Mathis is building a wooden chair. And as the music enters in... Is it just me or... Is it just me or does the music really pick us up? You never know. When did those graves get put there? It's the blood of our enemies. It's the thrill of the kill. Does this thing need power? It does need power. Now... The question is, 
How the heck do we run power to this thing? Ooh, I got an answer for you. Let's go ahead and this is going to be... This is a, a large endeavor. When we said, hey, we're going to put a turret out there, this is a mark of progress. So, what we are going to do is we're going to run it... What's, what's the best way to run it? What, what is the shortest route? Probably up through here. This feels like a little prison architect-y part, which I'm cool with it. But thank you guys for letting me know to run the power through the uh, the walls. And then what we're, we'll do here is we'll put some sandbags there so that it does not get jacked up. And then, hold on, we're still not done with our power. 1.21 gigawatts. That's a bolt of lightning. Now, we really need to think about this. Because uh, do we want to put sandbags here? As like a... Nah, that's not an ideal situation. We would like to maybe extend the wall here. So at least we can run power to it. I guess. I don't know. This is the fun part. Because I don't... You know, I haven't watched any... Uh, Extensive playthroughs where people have gotten this far. <laughs> uh, but uh, let's go a little sandstone wall, I guess, for now. And what we'll do is we'll we'll do this, and then we'll drop some sandbags here. And this could be a complete debauchery, but at least we'll have this working. So we'll go power, power conduit. There we go. That's, that's a serious project here. I'm not expecting it to be done anytime soon, but... Uh, Goals are goals. They're out there for a reason. Ryan, work in the nose. Ryan, we need the nose. Why do we need the nose? Because he's got great mining skills. Eh, we could potentially let them let them go. Ryan wearing the black coat. Eclipse is coming. Good. Everything else is moving along here nicely. Math is sleeping. Austin is sleeping. We're working at night. I'm going to say that very ugly environment in a little pain. What's this wrong with this environment? It's beautiful. Let's go ahead and I guess we can add a little bit of, uh, what do we want to do? Furniture, torch lamp. Put a torch there. That should help out, I guess. What else can we do to make it prettier? I don't know. Ryan enjoying a little billiards before the, the his night's watch comes to an end. That is not foreshadowing. That is not foreshadowing. Okay, so there's our dumping zone. Stockpile zone. We need to get rid of this. Delete that. Stockpile zone. I'm okay with that being there for now. Also, what about this marriage spot? Mathis and Ryan were supposed to get married. When did that ever happen? Was this thing dead? Oh, it's sleeping. Alright, so Dan's working. We're going to go ahead and speed this up. Things seem to be going alright here. What is Dan doing? Uh, excuse me. You shouldn't be researching, Dan. Who do you think you are, Ryan? Um, do we have a passion for research? A passion for fashion. In, in St. Laurent growing we should really just we have a passion for shooting and animals I guess we could I mean I prefer Dan not research just because he's got more important things to do so we'll set that as a four piece like we need to finish up uh, finish up this man Dan can you build sir prioritize working on the, the blueprint one blueprint two Jay-Z never release a blueprint three but there's steel there. Okay, good. I kind of like that we have Dan working at night. Well, what did, what's Austin doing? Getting a little accoutrements? Researching. Is Austin... Let's check his, his health and his needs. Disturbed, sleep, joy deprived, lacks a bionic body part. He is feeling good, though. I I think uh, things seem to be going all right. Your Mythos is playing a little pool. He likes to burn the midnight oil, as one might say. We sh I would love to get this turret up and working. I don't know that this is the best way to do it, but for all intents and purposes, we're going to roll with it. Eclipse is coming. Solar flare. Psychic drone. Our power is, is solved. We have good food. I mean, I don't want to sit here and say, hey, uh, we're on easy street here, but I'll tell you what, we're definitely not in Vancouver. <laughs> uh, harvest station. Is this, any of this stuff ready to go? Some of this is ready to go. Some of that's ready to go. Good. I'll tell you what, let's, let's check our meal situation out. 26 simple meals, that's a bit concerning. This is out of fuel. So, Ryan, he's going to go work on the nose. What is Austin doing? Austin's playing horseshoes. No, not today. 
You're going to go get some wood, Austin. So we need to go ahead and chop a little more wood here. Must? That doesn't make any sense. Chop wood. Oh, I guess it's not fully set up properly. But let's go ahead and have Austin uh, chop some poplar trees. Ryan is working on the nose here. Come on, give it to You just gave him a healthy meal. A simple meal. A beautiful meal. Look, you guys are wearing the same clothing. We got him, boys. You did it. You did it, Ryan. You never let us down. New recruit. 17% chance of success. The nose. What is his deal? He's. It's a female colonist named the nose. Really? Cabin fever. I, hey, look. I can understand that. Ezra died. Low expectations. What is the nose good at? Yummy the nose roach. Good at melee. Good at mining. Good at cooking. Or passion for cooking. So, let's go ahead and let's set her schedule now. That's a, that's a big step for us. We're going to make her... Uh, who's a better cook? Ryan is 6 out of... We're going to upgrade her to number 1 cooker. And number 2 miner. So, her number job is to cook. We'll explore that. But, hey, yeah, go ahead. Welcome, welcome yourself aboard. We also need to set her a bed. Austin's bed. This is not for medical use. We'll set the owner... Give it to the nose. I don't know who we're going to rename the nose yet. What are you doing? Training Leslie. That's not part of your, your deal here. The nose. Where's handle? She likes to do that, though. Well, guess what? You don't get to do what you like here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what is she doing? Got to keep a close eye on her. Hauling wood for the floor. She's all right. She's, she's stepping right up. Look, I'm not mad at you, the nose, but what I would like you to do is perhaps go go work on your cooking passion. We like to promote our internal passions here at uh, the Eggy House. The big Eggy House. I'll tell you what, man. I hope we're not... Let's just hard save this. Uh, let's go hard save. Uh, zero, uh, zero, one, three. We're going to call this... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, actually, there's not enough room for that. We're going to call this uh, real... Egg. There we go. Alright. So, uh, as we press forward here, I'll tell you what's going on right here with Austin. That's some real-ass agriculture. <laughs> we're moving on, boys. Alright, so the music, the chorus is hit. It looks like it's... We're in winter. Hunter lacks a weapon. What is the nose? Nose is a shooter, if I'm not mistaken. Nose is melee. A, a, a passion for bludgeoning weapons. Wooden club awful. Pump shotgun, awful. What if we made her... Don't we have a blacksmith? Fueled smithy. What if we made her a longsword? She'd be real happy about that. What do we want to make it out of? And who can make it is the question. Who's our smith? We don't have a smith. Two, zero, two, one. Ooh. Let's not waste time making it because we don't really have a passionate smithy. But let's go ahead and give her a pump shotgun. Excellent. So she's awesome. She's going to start cooking. She took over Ryan's deal. I'm not sure why there's EMP grenades in the middle of our uh, rice patty. But uh, things seem to be mov moving along nice. What is that? Survival rifle. Poor. I'd actually prefer her to... Oh, that's normal. We'll keep. We'll give her that. Alright, so we're sleeping. Ryan came in to bug us. Excuse me. Actually, he's actually building the conduit. We're almost there, boys. I'll tell you what, I feel like sometimes you can just take a step away and, and let your colony run itself because right now, things are going very nicely. What is Ryan doing? He's cooking a simple meal. What What's the nose doing? The nose is resting. Let's check her, her needs. Ugly environment, disturbed sleep, feeling bad, man. What can we do to make the, these rooms a little bit nicer? Billiards table. Comms console. We still we still could mess with that, but we're not there yet. We'll put a little... A party spot. Put a party spot right there. That works. Orbital trade beacon. Uh, there's got to be, like... Don't we have an artist? We can make, like, a, a place for art. Uh, production. Isn't it, like, uh... Sculptor's table. It'll make people happy. Question is, where the heck do we put it? I'll tell you where we put it. We put it in the happy land. Uh, where do we put it? it? We're gonna have to go ahead and deconstruct the party spot. 
deconstruct the animal sleeping spot, then we'll make, uh, hey, look, this is like the community center in, uh, you know, your local Del Boca Vista area where you've got the senior center, and they, they like to put things together. Let's go ahead and go uh, furniture. We'll give them a, ooh, we need more wood. That's all right. So hopefully we can start putting some some art in these rooms because hey look <laughs> some people eat corpses and some people make art that's kind of where we're at right now but I'll tell you what ooh trained we just took gray as our dire wolf I'll tell you what the overconfidence in uh, in life is 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 a killer and I'm gonna say that's the same in Rimworld how about the, the fact that this, the stone cutters tables outside the other thing we could potentially get into is some more lighting do we have any uh any lights? Sun lamp. Lights and area. How does this work? I would like to see, is it like power generated? I don't understand. Because sun lamp would be nice. But we need some like, some good stuff, man. But we don't have any good stuff yet. That's alright. Alright, so as we're pressing on here. Eclipse is ending. That's a beautiful thing. Look at these shadows. I love this game, man. This is a, this is a real good game. Alright, what is Ryan working on? Hauling sandstone to work on the wall. Mathis, I'm hoping you're going to work on this conduit. Already constructing it. Man, I'll tell you what. Things are moving quite along. What is... The nose is sleeping. Look, you got you got to rest here. Disturb sleep, ugly environment. We'll work on that. Also, why don't we maybe set... Since the nose is news, why don't we set uh, the nose to do some cleaning here? I'll put cleaning as a number two priority. All right. Good man, things are things are going very nice. We got real ass agriculture. Um you know, we got we got some good stuff going here. So let's speed this up here. Ryan is uh this place is filthy though. I do want to get if we get this turret running today, is it running? It's working! We are rap god. How is this even look at that thing? I just don't want us to get sniped. Like, I would hope that this is not our main entrance and this thing malfunctions, but you never know. Works for me, though. We got a turret. You come up through the north, the north will always remember. Alright, so what is Dan working on here? Cleaning dirt. Good. Ryan, hauling wood to a torch lamp. My mans. My mans. Mathis, playing billiards. Not my mans. Dan, we gotta go get... We gotta chop some more wood here. Uh, understandably. We're running low on wood. Let's go to, uh... Orders. And, uh... I don't understand. Oh, that's harvest. I'm sorry. Chop wood. I'd like to chop what's what's in our alleyway here first. See, some of these are not fully grown. They do provide some good cover, but eventually we're going to expand. Like we're t we're talking future expansion here. We're not we're not worried about surviving. We're just worried about how soon can we make our external walls made from 100% gold. That's what we're worried about. What is Dan doing here? Dan's sewing. What's Ryan doing? Building a wooden chair. Excellent. What's the nose doing? Going for a walk. Okay, you can you can do what you want here, but that's not the way you want to go. Mathis is sleeping. What if we What if you work on the the floor here? Excellent. Mathis and Ryan getting getting close. I, excuse me. Why would you go in there? Oh, because that's a good chair. That's why they like going in there. Huh. I I understand now. They've got a good chair. The nose is cleaning up. Austin's getting some Z's. Pan flute entered. Wise old man says that's none of your business. I'll tell you what. When you get pan flute in this game, you know you're doing something right. Alright, so while we're doing that, I'd like to maybe sure up our defenses here, this wall. I know it's, uh, it's, it may not be the best deal to do, but look, we got to do what we got to do. Um, what's our best sandstone? Look, it doesn't have to be perfect. just has to work. See, so we're going to have to make this. Look at that pan flute, boys. See, people, I think it can lurk through there. Right? Can people go through a corner like that? I don't know. Huh. Let's just, uh... Let's do what we can do here. We may have to get rid of some of the crop area. Just to... 
how do we get rid of the zone? So if we go to zone here, let's go to zone. We'll zoom in here so you guys can see a little bit better. We'll go uh, delete that zone right there. And then we'll just put the wood piece, excuse me, not the wood piece, the wall, sandstone wall there. I just, I don't like that that's exposed. Uh, but we did have some coverage there anyways. All right. The other thing I don't like, this is also a liability. We could put two turrets here though on the outside and it would be relatively easy. I mean, now we're getting next level stuff. I just don't want us to get lit up here. Not enough steel. I'd like to maybe put it out here for being honest with ourselves. I don't want us to get too close. We can run power. Can we run power through that wall? I think so. Ooh. Let's go, uh, we'll put one here. We'll cover both our bases with one. All right, so let's do that, and then we'll go a little more power. Power conduit. Can we run it through here? We can. Ideally, we like to run it through a wall, but it is what it is. We'll, uh, oh, we got to... Mm, that's not going to work, is it? Hmm. Here's here's what is going to work, though. We're going to go... We got to bring it all the way to this wall. How can we do that? We can go south and run it. Nah, we gotta, we got, it's got to be run all the way through this wall. That's okay. So, and this is, I'll tell you what. This is a future endeavor. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, uh, it's not sexy... But it, it's going to be helpful to know that all of our walls have power running to them. So we can do whatever we want, however we want, in the way that we want it. All right. So let's go ahead. While this is going on, let's check our history. Ooh, look at our health of a nation. Is Uh-oh. We got a raid coming in, boys. Colonist mood, pretty darn good. All right, let's see what we got here. A group of pirates from the Swords. It looks like they, they want to use your sappers to tunnel around your, to your locations. Ooh, we got a big squad here. Let's see, let's see where we really stack up. They've got Hogan, Pump Shoddy, Jade, Pistol, Speckle, and a Molotov. This is the guy that concerns me. All right, let's see where they're coming in from. All right, boys, let's see what we're truly made of here. Ryan, get drafted, son. Uh, he's got a Plasteel knife, so he's really the cleaner. Um, I just don't think he's that good with the steel, but we'll give it to him. All right, we also got to go one spot. Where are they coming in from? Hmm. It'll be an interesting scenario to see how this thing plays out. So if I'm them, I'm probably coming up through here. So we'll take Mythos. Get drafted, son. And we'll put him right there. That may not be close enough, but we also have a pistol here. Why don't we give uh, Egg Daddy a pistol? The nose, your drafted son. Put the nose up here in the front lines. Uh, admit this is good, Dan is good. Um, your drafted son. Mm, we should really sandbag this up. We'll put him in the front lines. Also, let's go uh, uh, hard save uh, zero one four. We're gonna say uh, raid of nation. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. We are gonna go through this attack on this episode. Ooh. They're getting close here, boys. Austin is not drafted. Austin is a legend. Let's go here. Let's just see where everyone is. Make sure everyone's in position to be successful. Ryan, what are you doing? Watching for targets? Why don't you st stick your nose up there, buddy? Dan? Good. Here they come, boys. Rally up. Oh, they're going to try and tunnel, aren't they? So they want to tunnel. They want a tunnel, they can get themselves a tunnel. We don't want to... We'll put NL here. The nose, we need to fall back. Where your ball's at? Whoa, gotta pause that. Where's Dan going? No, 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 my friendo. Let's hide behind that tree. Here they come, boys. They're gonna Molotov this. Get your squad goals ready. Oh, they're coming from over here. I'll tell you what, we're in an actually decent spot here. Um, Ryan, see, the, we need some sort of cover. This is not the ideal sitch. Let's go ahead and put Ryan here, just for now. And, uh, shoot, there's not really enough 
room at the inn. Um, Crumpet, you gotta move, man. You're in our, our spot. And the squirrel's in our way, too. We'll put Dan here for now. Alright, you wanna break the wall down? You'll see what happens. Let them take the wall down. <laughs> Squad goals, boys. I wonder if we should bring Dan across here just to... I'll tell you where we're putting a turret next time. What is he doing? Digging at the marble wall. Here we go, boys. Guns up. Oh, get yourself out of here, boys. You're not messing with the egg. No. Fire, boys. That's okay. Hang tight. Nose don't... Oh, the nose is burning. Get in the water. Hold on a sec. Where are we at? And I'll get a little bit closer here, buddy. Austin, we don't care about that. Fire at the defector. Actually, Austin, move here. Mathis, fire at Jade. Dan, we got to be careful that the fire here. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Don't kill our dire wolves. Let the magic happen, boys. Oh, let's go. The nose is burning. How do we put the, the fire out? What is the nose doing? Ryan, don't get shot. Back up. We don't need you. Headshot, boys. Is he fleeing? Hogan's not fleeing. They're moving. I'll tell you what. They're all roasted. Now, wait a second. Where's the nose? The nose is on fire. How do we put them out? What is the nose going to do? Fire size zero. Can't you go in the water? Nose. Nose, move. Why can't we... We can't move the nose. We may lose the nose. Uh, that's... No! Hogan's going to get a, a pot shot off. Now, Speckle... Speckles, alright. Doe is dead. What do we want to do here? Well, first and foremost... Ryan. Undraft. Ryan. Extinguish the fire. Austin, undraft. Extinguish the fire. Dan and Mathis, we may have to go squat up here, boys. Dan, come here. Take your shot. Hang tight. The swords have decided to kidnap who they can. No! The nose! The nose is down. No! Alright. So here's what we got to make a decision. Do we stay and put out the fire? Mathis, you're undrafted, son. Extinguish the fire. Ryan, extinguish the fire on Leslie. We're going after him here. Oh, Speckle's not backing down like a studio gangster. Go get him, Leslie. You're a direwolf for a reason. Come on, Dan. We need a big shot here, buddy. Dan, need the shot. Take the shot. Coward! Book of Cowards, you run. Leslie, can you go attack? Oh, he's, he's slow. We're going to get Cartman here, boys. Get Cartman. We, we got to nail one of these shots here, Dan. Nice. Come on, buddy. You could do this. You got Cartman. The swords are fleeing. Not today. You don't flee from us. Come on, Dan. Big shot here, buddy. Big shot. Also, how do we send Leslie after him? Release can attack distant targets. All right, Dan, you gotta keep gotta keep the climb up here, boys. We're going after Speckle. You don't take the nose away from us and live to tell about it. No, Leslie, Leslie, no. We accidentally shot Leslie. Speckles, we've got to get him. This is our this is our time. This is our place, right here, boys. Actually, you know what? We can melee him. Melee him, boys. You are not lived to tell. Dead man tell no tales. Let's go. What is that? Pack of survival meat. S S Speckle is dead. How's the fire? The fire down there is good. Leslie's in shock. I'll tell you what. We survived. I'd say it's pretty... I'll give ourselves a B plus on surviving that raid. We've uh, They've got the nose, but I'll tell you what. 
We were, we're going to get one of theirs. I don't know who we're going to get of theirs, but uh, this was an interesting episode. I think uh, we flexed our muscles a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit too much. But I want to thank you guys so much uh, for tuning in and watching the series. If you guys enjoyed it, clicking the like button helps out a great deal. And if you want to see more Let's Play Northern Lions RimWorld, uh, come back tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern for the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.